Opposition parties continue to scramble for power. According to the Afrobarometer survey, the DTA and the Rally for Democracy and Progress are in a neck-and-neck -neck race for second place behind the ruling party. Trust in opposition parties rose by 14%, indicating an increase in tolerance of political parties by Namibians. But it's, a, it's very hard for them, uh, and, and they're not very good at campaigning this day. They think voters will come to them instead of the other way around. So uh, they have to get better and more skilled at that if they're going to make a dent. In less than a month, citizens will be heading to the polling stations in the country's sixth presidential and national assembly elections since independence. 22 candidates are said to be vying for President Hifike Punipohamba's post and, inevitably, the same number of parties are campaigning for seats in parliament. This number has grown significantly from 2009, where only 14 political parties took part. Namibia uh, has essentially a consolidating democracy. The democracy is consolidating. You can see it in terms of the identification that people have with democratic values. The party loyalty is fairly stable. A low party volatility. It's not so easy in Namibia for voters to change parties. It also means that party loyalty uh, remains a critically important variable terms of how people identify and also the levels of trust that they would invest in parties. People don't uh, just simply change parties very easily. Uh, we have a dominant party system and that also came out in the presentation. This study gives a glimpse into what voters can expect come the November 28th. 65% of the 1,200 people that were interviewed indicated that there are staunch Swapo supporters and will therefore vote as such, and the remaining 35% was split amongst the opposition parties.